Yeah, hello and welcome to this video playing River Boca. Okay, I've lost one against him. How did I do that? Ah, okay. It was uh, this opening. I misplayed this ending. I remember that where I overestimated my chances and uh, got duly punished. Yeah, we had this way in this opening, exactly this, the uh, Scotch Four Knights. Yeah, Black has a couple of setups, mostly they involve C6. It's not totally necessary, but oftentimes just quite useful. Cover d5 and give more flexibility to the pieces. So they don't need to protect d5 anymore. But all in all, there are a couple of um, possibilities that black can play for. This is something that is now possible, which is not possible, of course, without uh, with c6 being played. It's not a big deal, but I can try. I'll try to see if I can provoke a weakness here. Not sure if the knight is that great there, to be honest. <laughs> now that I look at this a little bit, I wonder about it. Anyway, I can go here on C if I take on E6. That is uh, fine. Oh, interesting. So hmm, I have B4 now, which is. Let's do this. Can I'm trying to keep his pawns fixed on light squares. Yeah, it was pretty much expected. I don't think, no. I was thinking like b5, but it, it doesn't do anything good. Mostly just trades. a5 is a very useful standard move to get rid of the <coughs> weak a pawn. Okay, so now I can take on e6 if I like. It looks like it should win a pawn somehow. I mean, yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I don't. He's got many things uh, hanging <laughs> e6, c6. And there are tactics like with rook tactics and with rook a8 where it's kind of overloaded. Okay, this is a simple move that I did not take into account. Mm, okay, I mean, I can be better probably by taking, but probably, yeah. Okay, I mean, I probably shouldn't have taken on e6. Now looking at this position, but uh, I mean it's not not a problem. I'm not worse or anything. Okay, so rookie one maybe. If he takes b4, I get both pawns. So I'm not really worried about it. King f7 would be a funny move to cover <laughs> cover e6. Yeah, okay. Now what to do? Queen c7 or is there anything better? I'm try trying to go into the light squares could be interesting. 
Well, that looks very, <coughs> very normal. Threatening rook a7. I have bishop f5 or bishop g6. It's not going to be so easy to defend, I think. Yeah, rook f7, there's bishop g6. Going for counter attack. Mm, that's a good move. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. I mean, I can still take it, right? Queen d seven, queen f two, king h two, check. Yeah. E4, okay. It's still, it's still a little bit annoying, all this. How do you cover g7? Yeah, this probably. <laughs> okay, rook f1 or yeah, let's do it. I mean, he has to always cover g7. Bishop e2. He only has this one check. Is made on G two. Jesus. I did not see it at all. Shoot. I have no move. What a game. What a silly game. <laughs> uh, queen E six, Queen G four still wins. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't see it. I mean, that is totally sick. <laughs> Hey, more time and everything. Yeah, if you lose games like that, you should really switch to some other sport. Yeah. I mean, it was like, <laughs> how one-sided can you be? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So here, White has a very uh, nice control, and after this, I'm just clearly better. Actually, okay. And that's not. I don't want to. Criticize too much of my opponent's play and get get those uh, messages again that I, after losing, keep criticizing Black's play or my opponent's play. I mean, this is just atrocious. You just don't play Queen B7 and allow the capture on E6 because your structure is a complete wreck after it. And it's just what happened. I mean, I am uh, anyway. <laughs> so here I had something better. Rook A5 or taking. Yeah, okay. It's still pretty annoying for him. But he can take queen f6. Uh, that is, that is a, that's a resource that I definitely should not have allowed. Yeah, now here I've got nothing. So that means that I have to, um, here I have to really be more precise. Rook a5 is an interesting move, trying to double on the a-file and 
basically claiming that the A pawn is too strong, which is probably true. The A pawn supported by the bishop will be very strong. Yeah, in the game he played this, which is just giving me a piece. And then I don't win, which is really, really great. Yeah, yeah, I did I didn't have anything substantially better up to this point. Rook g1 is of course stronger. Yeah? When you see it, it's easy. This is giving him giving him a bit too much counterplay. Queen e6, rook f7 still wins. But I mean, even the final position is of course a complete win. But I didn't see it. I was so shocked that there was the mate threat. Yeah, yeah this is still fairly easy. I was so shocked about the mate threat that uh, I didn't see the defense. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.